Hey, what is up everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Greg and I am the owner of a social media marketing agency. And today I wanted to share with you guys one of the number one things that was causing a ton of frustration for me, which was getting paid on time. So what I'm gonna do is share with you uh, two different platforms that I use in order to make sure that my clients are paying automatically every single month on the date that they're supposed to be submitting their payment. So what I'm gonna do is kind of walk you through the two different platforms, that way you can see exactly um, how to integrate these two. But the reason why I wanted to find a simpler way was because when I first started out doing digital marketing for my clients, I was sending them invoices using Square and then I was also using Wave and a couple different other apps. But the number one thing that I found was I would send an invoice and it would take them three, four, five days, sometimes like over a week in order for us to submit the payment which is really frustrating because when you're running a business, you need to be getting paid on time, especially when you have expenses that are coming out and you're expecting that money to come in on that date and time. So with this, I wanted to find a solution that would automate that. So PayFunnels is one of the platforms that I use and it lets you set up different types of subscription billing. Now, it will do an invoice for you that you can send a customer a link. And when they click on the link, it allows them to save their information online so that way you don't have to request their business uh, credit card or anything like that every single month and it'll just automatically bill them with a subscription. You can also do a one-time payment as well. So the pricing is not bad at all. So right here it shows that it's $29 a month and then there's no billing or any fees like that. Um, it's unlimited monthly volume and you can schedule all this stuff and then it looks like if you want to do like a year then you get like a discount or something like that but um you know i've been using this now for a couple weeks and it makes it so much easier because you can do one-time charges you can set reoccurring payments you can also set payment plans so say it's like if you have it where um they pay like two thousand dollars for the first month and then like they can pay additional payments after that or if you wanted to do where like say you charge like two thousand dollars but like you want to do a thousand now and then a thousand and like two weeks, you can set that up. You can also do it where if you set up a reoccurring payment, so say if like you have a setup fee, so if you have a $1,000 setup fee and then like each additional month after that it's like $500, you can set that up under the reoccurring payment so it'll build in the first amount of $1,000 and then $500 every single month after that. So pretty cool. And when you come in here, this is what it looks like. So you can set up your different, you can set up a new invoice, you'll have all your invoices here that you have set up. It'll also show all the payments that have been processed and then it'll also show your active subscriptions. So right here, let's say we want to do like Facebook marketing and then you can put description. Um, usually what I do for the name of the product is the name of the client and then I'll put a description below of what I'm actually uh, providing for them. And then right here you can set your payment type. So you can do a one-time payment or you can do a subscription. And as you can see, it's how much are you charging and then is there a one-time setup fee? So if let's say we do um, $1,000 a month and then there's a one-time setup fee of 1000 now when you go to click Save Invoice, when you click Save Your Invoice, it'll create a, a subscription and it'll create a short link. So right here, this link, you can copy and paste it and you can put it directly into the email that you send your client. So I usually do like a client kickoff email where it says like a couple different line items of like what they need to complete before I can get started on work. So I uh, send them the agreement and then also now you can send them the payment link. So right here, when they click on this link, it'll bring them to a payment page where they put in their name and email. It'll show how much they're getting charged and it'll show that it's a subscription. Once they click pay, now their information is saved here so that way every single month they're automatically billed so you don't have to remind them and all you do is just send them a follow-up invoice saying that it's been paid so that way they have all the information and you don't have to worry about that. Uh, this will also show the metrics and everything and then right here it's connected to Stripe. So you use PayFunnels and then you connect this to your Stripe account. So right here is Stripe. So with Stripe, you get paid, this is a merchant account, and it shows right here that there's no monthly, but you do get a 2.9% transaction fee. So anytime like you get a charge, it'll take out a, a transaction fee, but there's no setup, no monthly, no hidden fees, pay only what you use, and real-time reporting. So 
once you create your account, um, when you first sign into PayFunnels, so usually I, I would suggest creating your Stripe account first and then create your PayFunnels account just because when you log into PayFunnels, it'll automatically connect to your Stripe account, which makes it super easy. And so within like 10 minutes or less, you can have an automated reoccurring setup fee for your clients. That way you don't have to worry about getting paid on time and it just makes it super easy in order to get um, all your stuff taken care of automatically and you can set up all the different types of payments and you don't have to worry about that. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting out content on different ways of helping you guys um, with marketing as well as just helping you in general with growing your business. So uh, definitely leave a, leave a thumbs up on this video and I will see you guys in the next one.